Welcome to another episode of TCTF, True Crime Truth Finders. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. Welcome back. Controversial YouTuber Etika has been reported missing. His last video that was uploaded at 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, June 19th of 2019, gives some very interesting insight to his possible state of mind and how he might have been feeling or what he might have been thinking at the time of his disappearance. Take a look. I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry I betrayed your trust. I'm sorry I pushed you all away. I'm sorry I made a clown of myself. I apologize. I wish it didn't have to be this way. So here's what we know so far. We know that Etika has also been known by other names on other social media platforms, and his YouTuber screen name isn't even Etika. But his real name is Desmond Amofa. He's also again known as Etika, and he's been missing since Wednesday, June 19th, 2019. Per Slasher on Twitter, NYPD spokesperson had confirmed on June 20th that there was an ongoing investigation, and this was being done by the 84th Precinct Detective Squad, who's searching for Etika. They also provided that they had no further details at the time. He's 29 years old, and he's approximately 6 feet tall and 160 pounds. He also has a history of making controversial comments having public mental breakdowns, and being banned from some social media platforms for at least a period of time. One of the most recent notable mental breakdowns, or what appears to be a possible mental breakdown sign, um, or possible actual mental breakdown, was from sometime at the end of April of this year in a live that he actually recorded on Instagram, which I tried to find today, as I had no idea who Etika even was, I'm not going to lie. So when I heard about this information today and yesterday, I really wanted to start looking into it and see who he was and see if I could come across this video. Other people had uploaded it and obviously ripped it and um, put it on their own social media platform. So I was able to get some of that information and see some of it as it was happening um, on you know that live at the time it was obviously recorded. So it was pretty disturbing and he said that he was scared and he even alluded that they might be trying to hurt him. It's kind of interesting. And even after that, there's a person who's on YouTube who has a drama platform and they interviewed him shortly after, I think within days of this, what's supposedly called a social media stunt um, or a stunt maybe for followers or for likes or maybe to just even cause controversy. Have a listen to part of that interview as he alludes to something that I really want you to take into consideration as I proceed with some of the additional information that I'm going to go over after this there are no coincidences in life think about that statement there are no coincidences in my world because everything all, happens for a reason because it's all planned it's all been pre-designed uh, everything simulation. it's it's all predestined so keeping the last recording you just saw in mind here's something that etika actually posted on twitter he was asking on june 2nd when he should have his next mental breakdown and what days people had off it kind of seemed like it was in an agreement that maybe he should do June 20th, a few days after most people should be out of school. And he replies, gotcha, and he's going to put that stuff in his calendar. As you could hear just a few seconds ago, what does he say about coincidences? There's no such thing? So, was he really planning a disappearance all along? Did he really start planning his disappearance just weeks before he went missing? There are some other theories that are also going along uh, the internet and social media as well. I kind of wanted to explore those with you and get your thoughts. So before I forget to tell you, make sure you comment what you're thinking might have actually happened to him below. A few theories consist of maybe he's hiding out. He might actually be somewhere with his monitors and that his monitors might have been missing from his apartment. There's also been a padlock or what appears to be a padlock that has been put on his apartment. At least that's what I'm seeing. So if this isn't his apartment, someone please let me know in the comments. Also, if you can confirm whether or not his game monitors are missing, please let me know. That may not mean that he's safe. I mean, ultimately, I guess it could be a coincidence that maybe he was robbed, but it would depend on what exactly all he had in his apartment. 
So that hasn't even been a theory that has been thrown out there because the only thing that I have even heard of that's been missing out of his apartment is the possibility that there may be some monitors that may be missing. I also want to add in relation to the whole computer thing or the whole computer monitor or gaming monitor thing, it's now being reported by somebody named Nutjob that maybe the whole computer was missing. So again, if you have any information on anything about the whereabouts of the computer, any kind of monitors or anything that he would have used for gaming or for his social media presence, I guess we're talking about sushi presence, uh, his social media presence, please let me know. Leave a comment below. Or if you'd rather, you can always email me. My email's in my about me section or our about me section on the YouTube channel. Others are also saying that maybe just maybe he really is faking his own death and trying to kill his online persona and really just trying to get rid of all of this that he has brought on himself. That could be a possibility, but you would think that his family and friends might have heard from him and that he would at least try not to worry those closest to him. Although in the video that he uploaded to YouTube at 11.59 on Wednesday, he does say that he pushed everyone away and now he has no one. So I do wonder who he was talking to on the phone and maybe what kind of conversation they had or what direction that conversation was going. It's also been said that he does have an ex-girlfriend. That ex-girlfriend does not know where he is and to my knowledge also has not heard from him. There is some posts going around that she had commented on his disappearance but didn't really know anything either. Unfortunately, you also have to talk about the all too real possibility that maybe something really did happen where Etika felt that it would be necessary for him to actually commit suicide. And maybe he felt that either himself or the world would be better without him. That's a lot of times what we hear people say that decide to commit suicide. It's also common and uncommon at the same time. I guess it depends. Um, for someone to leave some sort of clues behind that they may have been headed in this direction. And everything that I've really searched over the last few months anyway, alludes to it. he was on a very harsh and sharp direction in a downward turn. It doesn't seem like things were going his way. And he admits to maybe doing some wrong things and maybe taking about this the wrong way. So that's also a possibility. I know that there's been cases out there where people actually do disappear to commit suicide. I don't know if the point is to maybe not be found at all. Uh, the point is to maybe disappear. I don't know if there was maybe a specific spot where he would have wanted to commit suicide. But a lot of times people commit suicide at home. And he's not there. NYPD has confirmed that they have searched his apartment and he wasn't there. I'm pretty sure they did that on the night that he went missing. Shortly after that video was posted. So... I'll be curious to see where he actually was and what actually happened. I definitely hope the best for him and I hope that he is found safe. I also think that this is a really good sign and indicator to people in the future that someone is on a downward spiral and that they may need help. This person had specifically sought treatment or been forced into treatment prior is what I'm understanding and they still may have taken this direction and might have made this choice. So if you see anyone in your life or if you know of anybody that may be on a downward spiral, it would be a good idea to try and get them help. Everybody's different though. So I also want to throw out there, if you're on social media yourself and if you take on a different persona or if you've let in social media get the best of you where you've isolated all of your friends and family, and you no longer have anybody that you can confide in or trust in, that maybe you should seek help yourself. Social media isn't the end-all be-all. Social media is just a presence. Yes, we like the likes, we like the subscribers, we like the follows and the attention that comes with this sometimes. But sometimes attention can be too much. Sometimes it's not all what it's cracked up to be. So I want everybody that's considering becoming some sort of YouTube persona or social media persona or someone that may be considering uh, getting someone some help that may be in this situation or someone who is in this situation that's considering help for themselves, make sure that you take that step. We don't want this to happen to anyone. And Etika, if you've done this as some sort of 
stunt and some sort of social media stunt to gain traction, shame on you. Etika, no matter where you are and what has happened to you, I hope that you're okay. And I hope that if you are out there and something is not right and something mentally is going on, that you get the help that you need. I know mental health is a stigma and I know that it shouldn't be. I think that more people would get help and I too struggle with some issues myself. So I know that it can be difficult. So from one to another, please just get yourself some help. If it's been the worst result and you're no longer with us, I definitely hope that you enjoyed your life and I hope that your death can be an inspiration to others on how to act as a persona on social media, maybe not what to do and maybe what to do, maybe what not to do in addition to possibly being motivation for others to seek help if they're having issues. I hope that your family and your friends are well and I wish them all the best and I send all my love and prayers. If you have any information in regards to some of the things that were mentioned in this video, please make sure you comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback if you know Etika or if you know any information. Thank you. If you have any information on where Etika may be or in regards to his disappearance, please contact the NYPD and their affiliated party. But one thing I didn't realize is that the walls were closing around me so fast. I really had no intention of killing myself, but I always push it too far. I guess I am mentally ill. Or maybe I, well, I'm not trying to put responsibility on it. I mean, I did a lot of wrong, too. I did a lot of wrong. Everyone's got to pay for what they've done wrong at some point. Everyone's got to pay for their sins at some point. I guess not quite up to me. I'm sorry to those of you who had to trade. Sorry for leaving such a stained legacy. I hope that my story maybe helps to make you to a better place somehow in the future. To where people know boundaries and limits, how far things should go.